Hey, it's Abby, and today I am so excited to share my organized student binder with you. I used to be an English teacher, and I would have students that were absolutely brilliant, but they had trouble keeping all their work and items organized. So a few years ago on my blog, I started offering free student binder printables so that students like those could take them, keep themselves organized, and really set themselves up for success throughout the year. So today, I wanna to show you how I set up my binder, and I will also link to the printables in the description below so you can grab those for your favorite students. Before we jump in, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing, and you can snag our bonus for our newsletter subscribers by heading to abbyorganizes.com slash bonus. So let's take a peek inside the binder. So the first thing we have is a cover page just for the student to write their name right on that line. And then right after that, we have a class schedule so they can write down what class they have, what teacher or professor, where the class is, and the period or the time that they need to be there so they can always stay nice and organized and know where they need to be. So to separate the sections, I like to use these tab dividers. I especially like these ones and I'll link to them in the description. They are nice and brightly colored and they have this nice pocket so students can put their loose papers or assignments that they need to turn in uh, right in the pocket. The first section I have is a planning section and I have it labeled. I used clear labeling tape with black lettering in my little label maker to make these and I just put it right on here. If you want it to pop a little more, you could use the white tape with the black lettering. Uh, and so let's look at the planning section first. Now I am a huge proponent of goal setting because I think it works. So the very first page I have in the planning section is a page where students can write down their goals and also list some action steps to go along with them so they know what they have to do next. So next I use these smaller tab dividers to kind of break things up within each section. They're just these plain white tabs. So to make them a little prettier, I put a piece of washi tape on the tab before I add in my label. It just gives it a little bit of something extra. So I have a few different ways that students can plan and organize their time. Now, everybody is probably not gonna use all of these, but hopefully there are enough options in here that you can pick and choose one that works well for you. So the first thing I have is a monthly calendar. It goes from July of 2017 through December of 2018. I also have one that's blank without a year where you can fill in the numbers yourself so you can pick and choose. On here, you can put in your assignments, you could put in your sports practice schedules or your games. You could use this so many different ways. And not only is this great for students, but it is helpful for non-students. Anybody can use uh, these calendar printables and they're good for organizing your time. Along with the monthly calendar, I also have a weekly spread option. So this is spread over two pages. So you have plenty of room to write in your weekly plan. Each weekday is broken down by hour. So if you wanna go that detailed and plan out your time hour by hour, you can, um, or you can just use the lines to write some notes for each day. It has space to plan out your goals for the week uh, and then some notes as well. So you can plan weekly. If you really wanna break it down even further and need more space to plan, I also have a daily plan printable that you can use here. Again, it's broken down by hour, so you can plan out all of the things that you need to do that day. You can put people that you need to contact and just any notes that you need to remember. One thing that I have found that's helpful for some students in order to build habits is to kind of establish daily routines. So I have a printable for that as well. It gives space to have a routine for the morning, for the afternoon, and for the evening, just to give them something to shoot for. So they're making sure they're kind of checking off all those boxes and getting all of their responsibilities completed each day. And again, people probably won't use all of these planning printables at the same time, but you can kind of pick and choose what fits your stage of life at the moment. So the next little tab or section in the binder is the tracking section. So let's take a look at that next. There's a lot of things to keep track of as a student. I remember getting the syllabus on the first day of class and just being overwhelmed at everything I would have to do that quarter or that semester. So these pages are gonna help break that down a little bit. The first printable I have in here is an assignment schedule. So you can take all of those syllabi that you get and 
write down which class you have assignments for, the due date, and what the actual assignment itself is. It can be all laid out nice and neatly so you always know what's coming up next. In a similar vein, I have a printable that does the same thing for exams. So it gives you a schedule that you can write everything out. You can always see when your next exam is and when you should start studying for it. After that, we also have a reading log. Did I mention that I was an English teacher? I'm really into reading. I know it's really important. So this can help your student keep track of his or her reading time. And so they can see what they've read how much time they're spending on it, and if they need to kind of up their reading game as well. So those are the first two sections of the binder. The rest of the sections I have broken down by subject. So I have English, math, history, etc. And there are a couple things that I have in every subject tab. I have the same things. So the first page in each subject tab is a grade tracker. This way there are no surprises at the end of the quarter, at the end of the semester, when the student gets their grade back, all they have to do is write down the date, what assignment it was, the grade, and then they can keep a running total in the final column so they can always see where they were, they can see what they're doing well and what they could improve upon, all on the sheet. So after the grade tracker, we go to another one of these sub tabs and I just have a place for notes. This was a lot of people had requested a printable that's specifically for notes. It's just really simple. It has some blank lines that matches all the other ones. So you can take notes on there or, you know, I also have just plain loose leaf paper in my binder that you can take notes on as well. Totally up to you. And finally, my last tab in each subject section is a project planner. Projects can get overwhelming. They have a lot of moving parts. So this printable can help the student uh, write down everything they need to know about their project all in one place. They always have it for reference so it won't get confusing. Um, they can put the assignment details, the to-do list, their due date, materials, resources, and notes. The one final thing I want to show that I keep in the back of the binder is this little three-hole punch. It's a small one, it clips into the binder, which is really nice. But this is for if the teacher is passing back papers that aren't punched for you already, you can quickly open this up, punch them really quick, and then pop them into your binder really easily without worrying about them getting lost um, in between the classroom and when you get home. So I will link that below as well. It's really inexpensive. I got it on Amazon uh, and it's just a nice thing to have handy so you can keep all of your papers neatly tucked into your binder. So I've been sharing this binder for a couple years on my blog and each year I've gotten moms who have written in and said, I have a son, these printables would be perfect for him, but they have pink and they have cursive letters and he won't use them because they are just not his style. So this year I did a second style of printables as well. It's more masculine. It's a blue color scheme. Um, or, you know, if you have a girl that just doesn't love pink as well, these could be good for her. Those will also be over on the blog and I'll link to it below. You can get them in the, the same place as these printables. So there are two styles to choose from. They're free. You can go print them off and get your student all set and ready to go to have a successful year at school this year. Before you head over to snag the printables, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any organization inspiration and snag your free bonus from us by heading to abbyorganizes.com bonus.